yeah, like yeah. when I finished college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And then I saw him doing all this stuff. And it was like, oh, well, people can actually like make a living out of this. You know? Like, the stuff that I'm interested in, being creative like that, we can actually do. And to me, that was just like, that was just the craziest thing to see. Because everybody, everybody prior to that had been like a gamer YouTuber that I had seen. Like, like KSI or Achievement Hunter. It was like, well, I don't want to do gaming stuff, but it was cool to see I could still have a career on YouTube without having to, like, go to performance. Guys, you know what it is. I've been talking about it on this channel for a long time now. Matt and I have made it to London. We're in SneakerCon. But the first things first is we've got to go to both of our banks to withdraw some money because we haven't thought of it any sooner. But the cash point is only going to let us take out 200 quid and we're looking to spend more than 200 quid, so we're a little bit fucked. You're trying to fall out. Exactly. And SneakerCon starts in an hour, so we're a little bit behind schedule than we wanted to be, but we're not stressing. We'll just get a taxi to the stadium after this. I was taking photos for you, my hands were shaking, so yours might be like a little bit blurry. <laughs> but then the I got footage on here of you asking about the shoe. Oh, yeah. So you got a video of it. Yeah. That's so cool that you told me to tweet in the video. Oh, did he? Yeah. I didn't know what he said. I said, he said, keep up the YouTube. I said, thanks, man, it's Joe Lux. He said, tweet me your video. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I didn't check how much I paid. <laughs> Maybe wait until you walk away and then say that. <laughs> Just there for the. Where's it? Where's it? Yeah, we're still getting weird looks. <laughs> so we left the UConn next, we're going to Selfridges. While I'm in Selfridges, I've got to get myself some new, like, summer wear. So I've got, uh, I've got a load of, I'm still on a bit of a winter flex. So like flexing in hoodies and bombers and stuff. And I can't really do that anymore because it's too hot. So I need some, I need some more t-shirts to get. 
It's gonna be something even easier off white because selfishes don't do fear of God, so and those are like my three favourite brands, so you know we'll see. I've never seen fear of God stuff. Fear of God like they release online and then it's gone. Like it's really hard to come across. But you probably you probably have. Yeah, because they don't have any like like the equivalent of like a BOGO, they don't have any like major calling card to them other than just the style and some of the colours. Like another G. Yeah. Yeah, so not like the fact that if you look off white you can tell it's off white. We talk about how much fucking off white they were. Oh well, like everyone was wearing off white. Absolutely everyone. Every twelve year old. Every twelve year old, yeah, every twelve year old had Yeezys and off white. When I was twelve I was just discovering what jeans were. I don't even think it's privilege, I honestly think it's just kids watching people like Kais and like Benjamin Kicks and just buying and resell shoes. There were 14 year olds walking around reselling Yeezys there, which was crazy. But yeah, shout out to Kais. We uh, we met him, chatted to him, he was really, really like down to earth, really, really chilled out. He said for me to tweet him this video as well, which I will do, but uh, I don't know if he's going to watch it. I don't want to just automatically assume that he is. But guys, if you are watching this, thanks for being so nice, man. And if you're not watching it, everybody else just ignore what I said. Kick it off. Scrap. <laughs> We've literally spent this entire trip in a taxi. Absolutely. The entire day has been spent in a taxi. We have to. Alright then guys, and, uh, and there you have it. So I'm back now in Chester, back in my room. Uh, so I didn't buy any shoes. I didn't buy any shoes when I was a sneaker con, and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's a couple main reasons why, and it's because either the stuff they had wasn't in my size, or it was just way too much than I wanted to spend on them, because I knew that I can get them cheaper somewhere else. Like, I've seen them going cheaper online, I think it was just sneaker con upped the price a bit, of like, you were getting it at sneaker con, so they, they were a bit higher, but, uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get any shoes, but I'm really glad that I went, because I got a meet. 2J's Kicks, I got to meet Booskar, I got to meet Kofi from the Unknown Vlogs, and I met Kai, so that's the main one. Really, without fanboying out too much like I already have in this video, I'm just so happy that I did manage to meet Kai. But I haven't come away with nothing that's not like me to go all the way to London and not come back with anything. I got this Yeezy Season 4 tan hoodie, it cost me 265 I got it from Selfridges. Uh, I'm not going to get into this hoodie too much because I want to make a separate video about it. So if you are interested in what I've got to say about the new Yeezy Season 4 stuff, Please make sure you do subscribe so you can see that video when it goes up. Massive thank you to you guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, like I said, please do subscribe. But yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Joe Lux, and enjoy the rest of your day.